Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you? I hope you are well. Today we are doing Saturday singles and believe it or not, my hair has mellowed out in the few minutes it took me to sit down and get ready to start filming. <laughs> yes, so today is Saturday singles. If you are new here, welcome. I am glad you're here. This is where I just pull a few of my single eyeshadow palettes and create a look with some of the eyeshadows that are in those palettes. Not all of them, just some of them. And I started doing this because my single eyeshadows, while I love them, weren't getting um, used. So. This is kind of like my play date with my single eyeshadows. So today we have this mass of unruly hair with, with us. I took the blow dryer to it to dry it out some and it's still very wet because I did not take the multiple minutes it takes to dry my hair. It takes about 15 and so I wasn't going to spend that time. I just wanted to get it roughly dry so I could film this video and maybe, just maybe have, oh I'm pretty, some semblance of a hairstyle when I'm done. But if I had taken the full 15 minutes, I kind of look like Rosanna Dana. Okay, I'm afraid this little piece of hair is gonna pop out. So I'm going to try and tuck it behind my ear. Okay, we are done playing with my hair. I have my eyes already primed. They are not set because I don't know what eyeshadows we have. I just pulled out all of my small eyeshadow uh, magnetic palettes. So let's see what we have. This one I know is ColourPop. <laughs> we have brights. I don't know if I could do brights today, although my eyes are pretty bright. This one is Ulta. Some pretty eyeshadows in there. These are also Ulta, including these ones here. These are ones I've repressed out of their smaller palettes. And then I have some Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let's just start off. I'm going to take this Ulta Beauty eyeshadow right here just to set my primer, maybe. This is the shade called Petite. It's just a really light cream. And I'm just going to take my ColourPop E22 brush and just set my primer for my crease up. My hands are shaking. So how are you guys doing today? I'm actually filming this on Saturday. Usually I have it filmed a couple of days ahead of time, but I filmed it the other day. And when I was editing, I noticed not only did I use the wrong shade name, which is fine, I can correct that, but I also used the wrong sh eyeshadow. <laughs> so I am quickly refilming this on Saturday to Get this up on Saturday. And it's about 3, 3.30, 3 my time it says. Exactly. I'll show you. So my mouth is extremely dry. So if it starts squeaking, please ignore. I did bring a drink in here to help me with that, but last time I brought a drink in, I um, knocked it over and I had, it was like crystal light, but you know, not the main brand one. I am taking Bon Fresco by ABH and just putting it in my crease and transition, I really need a mirror. Let's see if I can hold this one. So last time I had a drink in here, I used to bring drinks in all the time, 
but when I had it, I had it in one of my big tumbler mugs and I was filming and you know me, I'm very active <laughs> with my hands. I was trying to think of a nice way to put it and my hand went out like that and I guess it went out and then came down because I whacked it onto the desk. No, it went out and I tried to catch it. That's what it was. Oh, I had it everywhere. I had to clean all of my brushes. Everything that was sitting on my desk, thankfully, was closed. It was There was no like open palettes on my desk, but everything that was sitting on my desk got covered. So I have my drink all the way over there. Hopefully I will not take it out. That is my sole goal today during filming is not to take it out. If I get anywhere near it, I will be scared. And that includes picking it up to actually take a drink. Okay, I'm going to try and use a color from every palette, including ColourPop. I'm looking at these thinking they don't all really go together, but it's play day. So if it doesn't go together, that's okay. And I'm terrible at color combinations too. So we'll see how that goes. So I have Bon Fresco down which is like a taupey shade. And I have Petite. So I only have two palettes left. Do I want to go that route? Maybe. Why not? Let's do it. Okay. I'm not going to be that big of a risk taker. I'm thinking about taking this somewhat peachy shade right here or this pinkish watermelon color. Oh, this is for sure. No wonder why I'm drawn to it. I like this eyeshadow. Since I've used for sure before, let me pull this peach. And it is called Centerfold. I am going to take centerfold, put it in my crease and on top of Bon Fresco, and I might take it up just a little bit, little bit higher. But I need a smaller mirror because that one's too big for me to hold. So I just grabbed my Fenty Beauty bronzer, and it's not their new one, obviously, since it's bigger, but. I'd like to try their cream, their cream blushes and bronzers, but right now. Oh, I decided to put it on my lid, did I? Okay. I'm using this Refer um, 12 brush. It, it's like a detail brush, a larger pencil brush. I really like it. If you've never heard of refer brushes, they are handmade in Japan. They're made out of goat hair. They're, they're comparable to Wayne Goss brushes, or so that's what people say. Price-wise, they're definitely comparable to Wayne Goss brushes. While I don't own any Wayne Goss brushes, I have definitely looked at them and have wanted to buy them. So I can't say whether they are or they are not. You know, as far as feel goes and how they handle, they're very lightweight brush. These refer brushes are very soft, easy to work with. I love this brush. It's definitely out of the four that I'm testing right now. This number 12 brush is definitely my favorite one because it just helps me to get in there and put color where I want. So how I obtain these brushes is through their concept store. 
you can purchase their brushes full price, but you can also participate in their concept store where you um, buy whatever brushes are in the concept store at that time. You can buy all of them or just one of them. I have been on there multiple times and the most I've ever seen in the store is three. However, you can go in, purchase them for half price, and then two weeks after you receive your brushes, within that two weeks, you have a two-week time period to review the brushes for refer, and they take what people have to say about their brushes. They take them, and if changes need to be made, they make them. I haven't done a survey yet, so I can't tell you exactly how that um, the survey works. I am excited to do it. I will probably be doing it this weekend, actually, on the brushes I have. So I really like that they do that because if I purchase them, I would still be leaving my review on the brushes on their website. So this way I get them at a discounted price, yet I'm still doing, I'm just doing what I always do, which is just review the product and that I've used. So I really like that they're doing this, that they really take to heart the feedback that their customers give them. I think it's smart um, business practices as well. I, I really like that bold, bold eye. I'm going to take this darker shade. I may, I may regret this. I may regret this dearly, but it looks like it's ooh. It's O, 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 or it's a triple zero. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to take it and put it. This is also a color pop because the other oranges I have are like burnt oranges and I'm really liking the bright vibe at the moment. And I'm just going to actually go over, cent is it centerfold? Yes, centerfold. I'm just going to go over centerfold in the outer corner and just darken it up. So I will have the link to refer down below if you're interested. I get nothing from it. I'm just testing these out to see what I think of them. But if you want to try their brushes out at a discounted price, I would I would tell you to go for it. So I am using their O2 brush at the moment. I was going to clean my brushes today and my light bulb blew out in my kitchen. We have iridescent lights up in our kitchen and I'm not a fan of those anyways, but we have to have the maintenance come in and change out those lights. Okay, so this isn't giving me as much definition as I thought it would. And I would do it in my bathroom. I usually do it. In, I can use my downstairs bathroom, I guess. I usually do it in my upstairs bathroom. But there's plumbing issues here. If my tub drains, then my sink doesn't drain. If my sink drains, then my tub doesn't drain. And when I say doesn't drain, I mean it drains extremely slow, which you know, it's just annoying. I took that ooh or a triple zero, whatever it's called, and I just ran it over my lid. Yes, this look is going in a totally different direction. And I'm not, I don't want to build it up to the same intensity that's on my, the outer corner of my lid, but I just want a little bit of color there. And I may have to go in with a different shade on the outer corner once I lay down 
my other eyeshadow, but we'll see. I'm trying to get enough definition with this ooh, but it's not working. It's a gorgeous, like, darker coral. I don't know how the ColourPop describes, describes it, but I'm putting it on and it looks like a darker coral, which is really pretty. I'm liking it. And I'm really liking that brush. So from the Ulta palette, this is the last palette for me to pull from. I mean, I can pull as many as I want from all the palettes, obviously, but what do I want? This may not look good and we'll just go over it, but we're going to try Under the Sea by Ulta and I am just taking my BH Cosmetics shader brush. Where is my mirror? And I am putting it on my lid. I bet it would have more pizzazz if I used my finger. Okay, let's try the finger. Definitely has more pizzazz using your finger than a brush. I may have to build up centerfold again. Not centerfold. Ooh. But I actually like this under the sea with the peach. Not what my I was envisioning for my look today. That is one crazy eye look. Let me build up ooh just a little more. I'm just taking aubergine with my number 12 brush and I am just going to put it on top of centerfold and I'm just putting it on there lightly because I was never able to get really the depth I was looking for. I took ooh and centerfold and I just kind of tapped into each one of them and then just dusted it on to my transition and I actually am not sure what I think of it. I'm not quite sure what I think of my look, so I am going to go do my face and I will be right back to show you my final look, whether or not it's a hot mess or not. I will still show you this face. All right, this is my final look. It's a little crazy. I'm done. I think this look is as good as it's going to get. You guys, please take good care. Be safe. And I'll talk to you soon.